Abdata Touré, the former Prime Minister of Senegal, welcome. Uh, you just made a rather powerful intervention, I thought, on the role of women, or actually, in a sense, the diminished role of women, not having an equal say. Were you talking about the world in general, or Africa in particular, or this conference in particular? Well, I mean, let me uh, remind us all that women make half of half the, the world. world populations, um, and they are doing very well when it comes to um, decision making. So I was a little bit uh, sort of uh, teasing the organizers. Um, I found the the room full of dark suits, yes. and I was wondering where are the women's. I'm um, sorry, I'm wearing and, a dark and, suit as well. <laughs> and uh, now they're making. Uh, uh, Hedros in in terms of governance, they, you can you can see them everywhere, um, in the banking system, in the economic system. Uh, you know we do have very powerful women uh, running even government and countries. So, the guard, you have politicians. Yeah. Um, so it's important to to get their voices into this kind of debates. I do think they come with a particular vision of governance. Uh, usually we are much more concerned about. Uh, what's going on at the grassroots level, um, and that was my uh, my comment. It's very important when we talk about governance that we uh, don't lose sight of whom do we govern. That's the very people at the ground level, and we I sometimes have the feeling that we have this disconnect um, in terms of communication and and addressing the basic. Uh, needs of the people. And you think women no. bring a, a, a different understanding of that? I do think so. I do think, well, you know, we Because in we, West Africa, you've had a lot of women we do. political leaders. We do, we do. We, um, we, we had Liberia, had the Liberia et cetera. Um, and I think it's going to move forward um, very quickly. We have in Senegal, for instance, 48% of the parliamentarians are women. Um, we do have, of course, a law uh, that uh, make it mandatory. Uh, for, for, for any elected position to have a 50-50%. Ah, well, in that case, let me ask you a final question on Africa itself, because I'm sure you know about the Mo Ibrahim Foundation Absolutely. and the Mo Ibrahim Prize. Sure. And I think it's been going for six or seven years now. Sure. But he's only been able to award it three times. So how do you get governance to improve in Africa? Well, I think uh, it's important that uh, we... Um, invest in education of the citizen um, because that's the citizen that uh, require accountability toward uh, people who lead them uh, and that has to translate into um, laws that make it mandatory uh, for uh, government and leaders uh, to be accountable to their people. Um, for instance, to come back to Senegal in 2012, uh, there were several um, uh, legal framework reform, make it, for instance, mandatory to declare your asset when you come as a new president or new minister. Uh, there was also the transparency law um, uh, regarding um, public funding. So these are the mechanisms that would help Africa to move forward when it comes to governance, because it's very important, no matter what you say. Uh, we are discussing about Africa being the last frontier of economic growth. That will only happen and benefit the African if we do have very solid uh, governance system. So it's, it's very important. And uh, I want to congratulate the Mo Ibrahim Foundation for all the work it's doing on governance. Very well said. Aminata Touré, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.